was a free kick. That I was just lucky. Dacor stays down at the back. Knocked away by Keyes. Here's the magician. Near the boundary line. 30 metres out, Peter Dacos. Three kicks. Three goals! No way. Off the ground. Mr Magic has done it! Oh, that was the case. Why was I so lucky so often? It took practice, practice, and more practice. But when I was a kid, I had nothing like the goal master to teach me how to kick. I learned to kick using this. Paper wrapped up in either tape or rubber bands. My friends and I used to practice for hours, kicking all the different kicks. Drop punts, torpedoes, even boomerangs. Practice, practice. With more practice, you'll develop your ball skills especially your kicking skills. And more practice. Kicking is one of the most important skills in the game. Being able to kick long and accurately, but how do you learn to kick? Obviously, Dad, your teacher or your coach can't be with you all the time. Then I had the idea, what if the ball could teach you? So I developed the goal master, the ball that literally shows you how to kick with different zonings for the different kicks. Drop punt, Torpedo, boomerang, left foot, right foot, and a handball target. When you follow this special instruction poster and video, you will learn how to hold the ball and kick it. For the perfect drop punt, torpedo, and banana kick, and the best possible way to give an accurate hand pass. So grab your goal master and follow me as we learn how to kick like a star. Okay, a few important things to remember when we're kicking. You've got to relax, okay, your balance, keeping your balance, and more importantly, timing. Timing is very important when we're kicking. So the first thing to remember when we're kicking a drop punt, okay, is the way to grip the ball or the placement of the ball. Laces out, okay, so it's virtually pointing to your target. Try and remember that. Fingers well spread, so we've got a even and a good grip on the ball. With that, we don't lose control of the football, which is the most important thing. Then, if you're a right footer or a left footer, you guide the ball down or hold it over the preferred kicking foot. So if you're a right footer, naturally it's gonna be over your right leg. If you're a left footer, over your left leg. The other important thing to remember is you've gotta stay relaxed, okay, and elbows tucked into the side. So if you're doing a torpedo, Elbows are still into the side. You're doing a drop punt, likewise. We never kick with a stiff leg or a cocked leg. And by that, I mean we don't want the leg completely stiff and we don't want it cocked like that. What we want is just a nice, relaxed action, okay? With a virtually a straight foot, tight in step, okay? And just basically a follow through. At all times, you're moving towards your target. Never away from goal, always at the target. Whether it's goal or a teammate, but it's always at your target. So then it's just a matter of giving yourself enough steps. And in this case, um, it's always good to give yourself six to seven steps back from the mark before you move in. So some of the things to remember again, okay, head over the ball, elbows tucked in, fingers well spread, holding the ball, eyes on your target, and then slowly start moving into goal. And then all it is, is a bit of timing. Here's another point. Try not to kick too far or too hard. It's all in your timing. And what we're trying to do is, okay, just kick over short distances until we get it right, just half power. Then we can try and practice by kicking the ball a little bit harder. Now you try it. Hold the ball over the thigh of your kicking leg. Keep your elbows close to the body and don't hold the ball too far away. Then keep the ball and your body in line with your target. Once you have the line, you keep your eyes on the ball, don't look up at the target again. Run in gently, not too fast or too far, and guide the ball carefully down with one hand, keeping it at a right angle for each kick. Then drop it, don't throw it, 
and make sure you kick with a straight foot and tight instep and watch the ball onto your foot. Then follow through with your toes and leg pointing directly at your target. It's great. Now we'll move on to the different types of kicks. Let's kick one, Peter Dacos from right on the 15 metre mark. Looking from far. It's his second. One of the Collingwood goals. They wouldn't want to let Dacos get it. They do. Okay, they drop punt, which is one of the most popular kicks in football. First used by Collingwood's Collier brothers in the 1920s and actually perfected by Captain Blood, Jack Dyer, 50 years ago. Over the years, there's been many great drop punt kicks. Peter McKenna, today's champions, you've got Lockett, Ablett and even Jason Dunstall. Drop punt is a very accurate kick, especially in windy conditions. And really, it's the easiest kick to mark. Hold the ball with your fingers spread evenly across the ball. Now remember, have your thumbs across from each other around the top of the laces. Now, the other important thing is the ball's to be held at a 90 degree angle, okay, pointing straight down to the ground. Now follow the instructions I gave before. Kick the ball on the bottom point. Where it's marked, drop punt on the goal master with the lower laces of your boot. Also, kick the ball when it's close to the ground. Try not to lean back too far and remember to follow through. It's just so important. When the drop punt is kicked correctly, the ball will spin like this. Now it's your turn. Important thing to remember is hands have to be evenly placed over the ball. Now your third fingers should be run down the side of the seam of the ball, okay? Now your thumbs also have to be straight across from each other. So you've got an even grip on the football, okay? Then it's a matter of dropping the ball at 90 degree angle. All right, the area we're trying to make contact with, okay, will be that area there, okay? And we basically want the ball to be hitting there. Kick the ball when it gets close to the ground. Try not to lean back too far and remember to follow through. Well done. One of the hardest kicks in football to perfect is a torpedo punt. But once you get it right, it is one of the better kicks for achieving extra distance from both ends of the ground. Some of the better torp kickers uh, presently playing football, Chris Langford of Hawthorne, Gary Pert of Collingwood. And uh, up forward in days gone by, you had players like Doug Wade and Bernie Quinlan who were tremendous at the torpedo punt. OK, the torpedo is held differently to a drop punt. Your right foot torp, left hand at the top of the ball, right hand down the bottom. With your left foot torpedo, okay, you've got your right hand at the top of the ball and you've got your left hand at the bottom of the ball, okay? Now with the left foot torp, the ball is placed over the left side of the body, okay, or the left foot. And with your right foot again, okay, over the right hand side. The torpedo marking on the bottom of the ball must be on the side of your kicking foot. So for a right footer, it's on the right side. 